Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to 2024. Hope you guys had a great new year and you didn't go too crazy. But today we're going to be talking about my most anticipated films for this year. It's 2024. We're going to hit it off with a crazy start. Let me know what your list is in the comments down below because you know, I want to see what you guys are excited for. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have some stuff on here that you guys don't even know about, didn't even understand or know that was going to be coming out this year. So definitely let me know what your list is in the comments down below. But look, without further ado, let's get into my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2024. So coming in at number 10 is Alien Romulus. We're finally getting a new Alien film and this is going to be directed by Feta Alvarez who's directed some of my favorite horror films in the last couple of years with that being Don't Breathe and the Evil Dead remake in 2013. So I'm really excited to see what Feta does in this one because I'm a big Aliens fan. I grew up watching Alien. My mom was like, you know, obsessed with Ripley. So then it just transferred into me being obsessed with Sigourney Weaver and Ripley and the aliens and like face huggers and stuff. One of the first memories I have of watching a movie in the theaters is watching Aliens 3 with my mom. Now um, you can say what you will about my mom's parenting skills from that time, but that's what I remember. But not only am I excited, I'm a little nervous for this project because it's been a long time since we had anything alien related. And the last thing that we had alien related was uh, not so great. And it was just weird. <laughs> And the alien stuff doesn't need to be like that. We have the xenomorph, just put it in space, stalking a whole bunch of crew. You know, the, we're not asking for much. So hopefully this new alien film will get the same, you know, treatment and love that the new Predator film got, Prey. That was a great film. And we're finally going to see the resurgence of the alien franchise. Here's hoping. Coming on at number nine, we have Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Now I feel like I am not that big of a Planet of the Apes fan, but every time I look back at some of my favorite films ever, the Planet of the Apes, the most recent series with like the dawn and the rise of the Planet of the Apes, those are really sticks out to me. That trilogy is probably one of the best trilogies uh, movie cinema that I've ever seen. And I still think it's kind of weird that Andy Serkis could never got nominated for best actor in that role because I mean, the dude, the dude's been doing some great performances since the Lord of the Rings and, and after that. And I just find it very weird. Every time I see like mocap stuff and I think of Planet of the Apes, I'm like, why, why don't they just make a category like that <laughs> in the Academy Awards? But in terms of the movie, the movie looks really, really good. It looks intriguing. It's set like hundreds of years after the last Planet of the Apes film. So the apes don't really know of Caesar. They just know him of like legend and stories that have been passed down over the years. So um, this is gonna be really interesting as we follow these apes who are like now the apex top of the food chain and then the humans are like back to the caveman era. It's gonna be interesting. Coming in at number eight is Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Uh, I was hesitant on this film when they announced that they were going to do a prequel and that Charlie Theron wasn't going to be a part of it because they're gonna do a young Furiosa. But then I watched the trailer and you know, saw Princess Peach. <laughs> and I was like, hey, this looks pretty good. Now I did come away with watching the trailer the first couple times thinking, I was like, you know, this looks good and all, but it also looks exactly the same as Mad Max Fury Road. I feel like there's a lot of the similar shots, but then again, you start thinking about it. I mean, they're in a desert, in a post-apocalyptic world, and it all looks the same. You know, you can't really change the desert, <laughs> but it's a Mad Max film and they always look visually stunning and you have a great set of actors. So I don't think it's going to be boring at all. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with this Furiosa character. We see her in the beginnings before she got a bald ass head. And number seven on the list is something I didn't think I would actually be excited for or anticipating at all. And that is Dune part two. Now I know what you're saying. You're like, dude, you you're not excited for Dune, you weren't or anything. I wasn't really a big fan of the first Dune film. I thought it was really 
I hate to say it, boring, <laughs> but I think at the last third act of that film, it got, actually got pretty exciting and stuff were actually happening. Um, and the second film I'm going to, this is like my, I'm going to give Dune one more chance kind of thing. And I, I just from the trailers, I can totally see that it's gonna be more action packed. Things are gonna start actually happening now. Now that they got all that story building and world building and dialogue out of the way, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some pretty spectacle stuff. I mean, it shows a dude riding the worm. You know, he's doing the worm. And of course you got Zendaya and you got Willy Wonka himself with the Charlemagne. <laughs> and the cast has already expanded. I mean, Christopher Walken's in here, Florence Pugh. I mean, what, what more can we ask for? I'm gonna, I'm really excited to see Dune and hopefully I become a Dune fan. Number six on the list is the new Ghostbusters film, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Now I kind of didn't see this coming. I knew that we were going to get a new Ghostbuster film, but I didn't know we were gonna go in this direction. I don't think anybody knew that they were gonna go in this direction. And it looks like we're getting a little bit more of like horror stuff, you know, a little bit more scary Ghostbusters, kind of like we got in the first and second film. And yeah, you know, I was, I liked Ghostbuster Afterlife for what it was, but I wasn't like, this is the return of Ghostbusters. This film looks like it might be that for me at least. So the trailer looks promising. And you know, the cast is always great. I didn't have a problem with the cast of Ghostbuster Afterlife. So they're bringing everybody back. Paul Rudd is Paul Rudd. So that, you gotta love that. Pat Oswalt's in here. Got a couple other characters. So I'm, I'm really interesting. It looks like the stakes are pretty high in this one. Now the fifth film on this list, we haven't even got a trailer yet. We kind of got a poster, but I'm not really sure if it's the real poster. You can never tell nowadays but this is the watchers and this is going to be the directorial debut for isna Shyamalan. and if you heard the last name Shyamalan before that's right this is m knight's daughter and she's making a horror film so my mind is kind of blown in the sense i talked about this a little bit in my video for 2024 horror films i'm really excited Go check that out over here. But I just think it's kind of crazy just for me as growing up watching M. Night Shyamalan when I was a teenager and until now, then seeing his daughter make a movie. It's it's kind of wild and it's really exciting that it's going to be a horror film for her first film. So I'm really excited for that. And I just hope that, you know, she grew up probably watching M. Night Shyamalan's films, his, his earlier films. And I just, I, I just in my head, I'm imagining, okay, we're going to have M. Night in his prime, <laughs> in the form of his daughter, going and making films. And that to me really excites me. I mean, the cast, the Dakota Fanning alone is enough for me to just be excited. So I can't wait to see what they do with the watchers because I'm gonna be watching this. The fourth film on the list is Deadpool 3. Now, I don't think this is any surprise for anybody that this is on the list. Deadpool 3 has pretty much been on everybody's most anticipated list for a couple of years now. And those leaked set photos that we got with Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine in his classic yellow and black suit. Well, it's supposed to be yellow and blue, but it's yellow and black in this one. I think I like this one a little bit more, but it looks amazing. I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do. And this is going to be Deadpool, like officially in the MCU kind of thing. The whole MCU is kind of weird at this point with everything that has happened over the last couple of months, but I'm really excited to see what we're going to get from Deadpool 3. I feel like it's Deadpool, so we're going to get something entertaining, whether we like it or not. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see where they're going to go with this film. It's going to be crazy. Third film on the list is Beetlejuice 2. Now, we again, we don't have a trailer for this or even a poster. We just got some fan made posters that looked pretty cool, but everybody else is pretty much coming back for this film, reprising the roles. We got Renato Ryder coming back. We have Beetlejuice himself coming back. We have director Tim Burton coming back. And then we have Janae Ortega, hot off the heels of Wednesday, coming back to play Lydia's daughter. So I, I don't know what could go wrong with this thing other than this them going heavy CGI, but it's Tim Burton and it looks like he's got his groove back since he's done Wednesday. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'm really hoping that we get something great and something cool because I mean, it's Beetlejuice 2. It's been forever since we, there had been anything Beetlejuice related. So I'm crossing my fingers that it's gonna be good. You know, Janae Ortega, Renona Ryder, everybody coming back. I, I think, I think 
I'm hoping <laughs> that we get something really special here. Now, the second film on this list is something that probably is not on a lot of people's radar, but if you're a big A24 fan, then you might be like, oh yeah, I'm ready for this. And that is Love Lies Bleeding. Now we got the trailer for this film later in the year, like towards the end of the year. And it's weird. <laughs> it's a trailer itself is just, very confusing. Uh, you don't know what's going on. And I like that about A24 films. But this one looks exciting. We have Kristen Stewart doing her most Kristen Stewart thing <laughs> in the film. Uh, I think she's a great actress. And the film just looks like it has some undertones of like, you know, it looks like a crime film, but then we have some undertones of like some supernatural thing could be possibly happening. Now, ever since that we had the big success of everything, everywhere, all at once, every year I'm going to be like, okay, this is going to be this film for that year. And I feel like for last year, Bo is Afraid was that film for 2023. And I think this film is going to be that, you know, really big hit or, you know, under the radar kind of really good film from A24 that's going to release this year. Now, it's early on in the year, you know, we haven't had a you know, all the whole entire slate for A24 to come out. Anything can happen, but for now, this one looks like it's going to be the biggest movie for A24 and it looks weird. It looks really interesting. I'm getting some Hulk vibes. <laughs> So I don't know what's happening, but I'm really excited to see what's going to go on. And my number one film that I'm really excited to see for this year is Inside Out 2. Now, I know Disney has been getting a pretty bad rap, and I think they have been doing it to themselves lately. And one of the big criticisms that Disney gets and just pretty much all of Hollywood is that people want original stuff. They always cry that they want original stuff, original stuff. But for me personally, when I look at the box office and I look at the reception for new original movies, they don't get the love that so apparently these fans really want. And with Inside Out, it's a sequel. And I know a lot of people don't like sequel stuff and they always cry about that. But hey, call me a sucker. Call me a shill. <laughs> call me a plant. I don't care. I'm really excited for Disney sequels and when they announced that they're doing Inside Out 2 after all these years, I was really excited. I mean, I got a whole bunch of Inside Out characters. I have a Disney Pixar wall, a little section here. I'm, I'm a fan of Disney Pixar. So when I saw the trailer for Inside Out 2, I was immediately overjoyed and excited and thinking of the possibilities that we're going to get. I mean, they only showed one of the emotions so far, anxiety, but if you watch the trailer towards the end of it and they show you all the emotions really, really fast so you can kind of figure out who is going to be showing up. We just don't know what they look like yet. But that is it guys. That is the 10 movies that I'm really excited to see for this year. Can't believe we're already here in 2024, but I'm really excited to go forward with the channel. Last year, you guys killed it. You guys did so much for me. I'm really appreciative of what you guys did. I mean, we reached 2K subscribers. I didn't think I was going to do it. We did it pretty fast. Thank you guys so much for doing that. And this year I have another ambitious goal, and that is to get to 3K by the end of the year. I know it's gonna be a little bit crazier because it took me a couple of years just to get to 2K, <laughs> but I think we can do it this year. You know, all, a lot of it's gonna be relied on me being a little bit more consistent and a little bit more thoughtful with the content that I'm going to be releasing over this this year and, you know, life stuff to see if the, hopefully that doesn't get into the way with this content making. But thank you guys so much for all the support and thank you for just sticking with me as I go try different things and doing all that stuff. I really appreciate it. And I see your comments, you know, I read all the comments and everything, even the weird ones. And some of you guys be leaving some weird comments, <laughs> but I read everything. I try to respond to most of the stuff that I think I can respond to. Cause sometimes you guys say some stuff that I'm like, I don't, I have no words for. So I'm just gonna give you a like. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be on the lookout for more stuff coming soon. We're going to talk about some movies. We're going to talk about TV shows. We're going to talk about just stuff in general. A little, I want to do a little bit more discussion videos of different topics that are coming out in the movie sphere. So be on the lookout for that. But of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like or dislike button. And let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know again in the comments down below, what are your top 10 movies that you're most excited for? Again, it, it maybe doesn't even have 
have to be 10. Just let me know all the movies that you're excited for for 2024. But as always, guys, keep watching movies.